We're gonna call this like a PBC shoulder mobility complex. Uh, we'll do a couple of them. Now the first one's gonna be around the world. Uh, basically you take the same grip that you would do a shoulder roll with, but then you go around in circles. So you kind of go around the head, oh, down back behind, oh, in front. And try to be keeping your elbows as straight as you can, but you'll find these like little notches and places that you can't quite do it. And we're just gonna circle around one way for a couple and then back the other way for a couple. That's the around the world. Next one is the shoulder pass through, that first one I talked about, uh, or a shoulder dislocate. And you keep your elbows nice and straight, roll up, nice and controlled through, through, and then roll back down to the other side. Ah, same deal on the way back. Now if clients are having to bend their elbows, it means they're too narrow. So widen up their grip as necessary in order to really pass through and get a little bit of a stretch, but not something where you're kind of monkeying it through or letting that rib cage flare out and get into a deviated bad position. The next one in the complex is the uh, pec stretch and the tricep stretch. And the way this will work is you take it out, you hold it out like a sword, you drop it down behind a shoulder, and then you reach around your back and uh, grab on. So it's here in the back. Now you're gonna work your hands closer together. So you work them down the PVC. Now to get more of a stretch from the tricep, you're gonna pull down with this hand. So you pull down, and it's gonna stretch out that tricep more in the other arm. And then to get more of a stretch from the pec on the other side, you're going to pull up, and that's dirty, and it'll give you a stretch on the other side. So you pull up with this hand, and it'll change that stretch for you. So that is the tricep slash pec stretch. And in this complex, we're also gonna be doing the behind the back PVC lift. That's, once again, behind the back, except instead of going into a hip extension, you're gonna straighten your elbows here, and then pull this away from your body, trying to really get a stretch out of the front of the shoulder if you're flexible enough to get there, or if you're like me, and you're just stuck on your lats, trying to straighten your elbows and get a little something from your lats. 